Hey, let's go on a road trip. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies. Tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete de la forma que tú besas, mami, más simétrica que un origami. De la forma que tú besas, mami, más simétrica que un origami. We're on the road again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Such a bad introduction to my video. I'm sorry. So we're finally out of the house for the first time since three months now. And we want to go to a place where there are not many people. So we decided to go to Ghost Town. Hopefully there's nobody. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Cer what? Cerro de San Pedro. Cerro de San Pedro. It's like super close and there's a dog and I have to be careful. Oh my god, dog. Oh. oh, kitty. Hello. Uh oh. Water, water. So much water. We already fell in one hole. So here we can see the first ruins. But there's a car, so I'm wondering, is there someone living here? Is someone living here? Uh, I don't know. What do I know? I was here only twice oh, before. I thought you're from San Luis Potosi. I'm not from Cerro de San Pedro, but I don't think so, to be honest. I don't... Maybe, <laughs> now that I see that house. Later we heard that the population of Cerro de San Pedro is around 100 people. But don't take our word for it. Bienvenidos a Cerro San Pedro. Cerro. Since we're good citizens, we have mouth covers. And I don't want to have a sunburn because I'm white as hell. Because I was inside for the last three months, I have my hat. But sadly, it doesn't fit me. It's great. I'm gonna wear it like this. Guys, there's literally no one here. At least where we are. <laughs> 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 At least where we are right now. So I feel like we don't need the masks right now, right? Dime, cuántas veces me volviste de mente. Ahora sin que estoy tan solo no es fácil. Te quiero, baby, hasta que nazca el sol, hasta que nazca el sol. I'm so tired, guys, and we didn't even go that far. Oh my God, we really need to get out more. Just so you guys know that we're not lying, I want you to look at the parking spaces so you can see that everything is empty, pretty much. Pretty much. And just now there's a car arriving. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, exposed. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to find the sign, the letters of the city, that you can find in pretty much every Mexican city. We just don't know how to get there. And there are a lot of stairs here. The small village started as a mining site for gold and silver back in the 16th century. After the mine was closed multiple times, there are now open mining operations, which turn a beautiful looking hill into this. And there's a dog that's very angry at Danny behind me. Yeah, why? It didn't do anything, bro. It's fine. We're, we're out of here. Bye. <laughs> May I introduce you, my new friend, Pedro. <laughs> um, yeah, there's no one that close, so. Well, even he is wearing a mouth cover, so I guess I'm gonna join him. He reminds me a little bit of C-3PO from Star Wars, because the eyes look pretty much the same. C-3 Pedro. Gas, <laughs> gas. Gas, <laughs> what is gas? I'm so tired already because there's so many stairs, but I have to say, I haven't been here for five years, but it's super empty and it just feels so relaxing. I feel like I'm one with nature. I can see the, the hills everywhere. Would you like to live here? I don't know. <laughs> what? Well, it's very relaxing. Okay, you can move. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna live in LA. Cheers. No, it's relaxing, but it looks scary. Like, I feel like at night, there's a lot of ghosts. Here. A lot of, oh my, that's why it's called Ghost Town. Yes. Uh, but, since we're talking about butts. <laughs> but. <laughs> it's the same old sound in the same old town. I wake up early with a sigh. Since we arrived, loud music could be heard all over the village. And at some point, we just gave in to the rhythm. I have viewers. I 
We are in Sierra de San Pedro. Cerro. I have a new dance style. It's not only a dance style, but at the same time, you can get rid of flies that are landing on your arm. You can also do it with both arms. So now we got to the place here in Sierra San Pedro. Sierra de San Pedro. <laughs> that I have really bad memories with. And that's because five years ago, shortly after Joss and I started dating, we were new boyfriend and girlfriend. We came here, I ate a lasagna that was pretty good. But then, shortly after I finished, I felt really, really bad. So I went to the toilet here, I was fine. We went into the car and then a few minutes later I was like, uh oh. Well, I couldn't hold it anymore. <laughs> so I just pooped in the car. No, I'm no. kidding. I'm kidding. I didn't. I don't know what to say. What can I say about my boyfriend almost pooping my car? <laughs> it was a shock for me. And the worst thing is that he had just gone to the bathroom inside of the restaurant. So literally five minutes after he got in the car, he was like, I need a bathroom. I need a bathroom. I need a bathroom. She was freaking out in the car. She was like, there's no restaurant here because on the way there's basically <laughs> nothing. And I had to hold on for 40 minutes. But at one point we found a Starbucks, I ran inside, and there, I don't want to go into details, but it, it wasn't nice. <laughs> We've been dating for almost six years, and I think I've never seen him as desperate as that day. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're going to the Mirador, in case you don't know what that means. It means... Viewpoint. Viewpoint. Here's a funny story. When we came here five years ago, this is where Joss parked. And when she got out of this spot, she crashed into a lamppost. And now the lamppost is gone. Yeah. <laughs> that was my legacy to the Cerro de San Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you imagine that I've been here in Mexico for pretty much a year now? In between, we were in Germany for a month and then for three days in LA, but we had to cancel our entire trip because of Corona. Yes. And now we're stuck here in Mexico because of Corona. The thing is that we love Mexico and we really wanted to travel here through the country, but with coronavirus, we cannot do anything. And we've been quarantining for three months. We're just at home cooking. <laughs> <laughs> cooking, cooking and eating. And cooking. <laughs> yeah. The thing is right now, only people from Europe can travel to Europe. And she's not from Europe, so she cannot travel to Europe. <laughs> So. On the 1st of July, Europe is supposed to open borders for the world again. But there's going to be a list with a few countries that are not allowed to enter. Mexico is right now on spot number 14 in the ranking. And the cases are still going up like crazy. So that's why we think that Mexico might be on that blacklist. Mm. The plan this year was to figure out where we want to live because we're so lost. We have absolutely no clue what to do. Like how the hell do you figure out where you want to live? So the plan was to be nomads for a while. We wanted to live in different cities and like figure out where we feel more at home. We already had some cities in mind and we were super excited because we've been living with our parents for over a year now. But now, because of Corona, all our plans have been scrapped. Just like the plans of everybody else. So of course, if I would be selfish, I could just say, Bye! Thank I'm you. gonna go to Germany because I can. Great! <laughs> but Joss can't and I don't want to go without her. So I'm, I'm gonna stick around with you. Great, you look so excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys! <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, in the last couple of weeks, I was so sick of speaking Spanish. I just need a break from having to concentrate every single time when someone talks to me. Welcome to my life. Yeah, that's why Joss was also super annoyed in Germany. <laughs> I was annoyed as hell. <laughs> your parents were probably thinking I was a weirdo. And now your parents think I'm a weirdo. Yeah, but they always thought that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just Funny. kidding. Funny. So we're going crazy, guys, because the weather in Mexico is amazing. We're here in this amazing country full of amazing restaurants and tacos. And we're just bored in the house, and we're in the house bored. We are literally Stuck in Mexico <laughs> and Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We know there are a lot of you guys 
then have it worse because maybe you're in a long distance relationship and you're not together right now. Yes. But I just want to tell you that we have to stay positive. Whatever you do, don't waste your time just being miserable at home. Just keep yourself busy. I'm learning French and it's going great. It's going très bien. Avec moi. C'est toi. I'm learning Chinese now. Ni hao. Ni hao ma. I'm glad that we're stuck together. Yeah. I'm but glad. I really miss my family and I want to see them. So I obviously want to go back to Germany. So if you're struggling because your honey bunny is in the other side of the world and you cannot go visit them right now, then maybe click on this video that's on my face right now. It may help you out. And we'll see you next week. Adios muchachas. Cheers.